just can't seem to get enough of dumplings. Hey guys, so I have scoured the web and today we're going to be making something called egg dumplings. And essentially what it is, is um, the wrapper is made from an egg, kind of crepe-like batter. While that pancake is still cooking, you fill it in with whatever filling that you want. And because the crepe is still wet, you fold it over, everything seals off, everything gets cooked at the same time. The taste and the texture is quite unique for a dumpling anyways. So um, I hope you guys all enjoy. So let's start off with the egg batter first. I have right around three quarters of a cup of water and then to that I'm going to add a little bit of chickpea flour with turmeric for color, some black salt for flavor, and then finally two tablespoons of tapioca starch. Recipe is going to be down below, but the tapioca starch just kind of lightens up everything and then binds this mixture together. So stir it until everything is smooth and then set it aside. Now the filling for these dumplings can be whatever you want. I'm just using a very basic recipe, uh, a quarter cup of leeks, some carrots, some shiitake mushrooms, and then I end up seasoning it with just some garlic powder, some soy sauce, and then some sesame oil. So uh, that recipe is all going to be down below and you just blend it all together. Now you do want to cook the filling in a little bit of water for right around five minutes so that the filling will soften and is cooked before we add it to the crepe batter. So now very important, your heat needs to be low to medium because if you have it any higher, this batter is going to burn. But if you have it any lower, like if the heat was off, the batter actually starts running all over the place. So keep the heat nice and low, and in a way, you almost want to kind of dehydrate and dry the crepe batter out versus cooking it on high heat. Now, while the batter is still wet, you want to put in the filling immediately, and then as soon as you can, lift it off of the pan, just close it up. And some people recommend putting a little bit of batter onto the edges so that you can seal it, but I actually find that with the water condensation later, it ends up closing up uh, by itself. So keep in mind that this is a dry pan and it only takes about 15 to 20 seconds before you can see that the crepe is completely cooked. I have seen some recipes where if you don't cook the filling off beforehand, all of these dumplings get finished uh, cooking in a general stir fry sauce and that way you'll have more sauce to work with. But I find that just a general kind of um, dumpling dipping sauce does really well for these guys. So I think that the crepe makes this taste a little richer and just more luxurious than your typical dumpling. So it's a nice mix to put in if you are someone who likes dumplings and just um, wants a change. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this egg dumpling recipe. 
As usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, please, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys all again next time. Bye!